Zero at PG Zone HD, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening up a total of 13 items, including two Play Doh surprise eggs and 11 blind boxes. Now we're going to start the video off by opening up the Android blind box first. And I'm starting the video off with this one because the Androids have always been some of my favorite blind boxes to open. Here's a look at some of the different figures that you can collect. There's a few different mystery figures in this set. This is series number five. And for this one, who did we get? I'm actually, I'm not even going to try to look for the tear strip on that one. We got an orange one. And we got this guy who has a broken arm on this. It's actually pretty loose over there. All right, so it looks like we got this one, which is a 2 and 16. Definitely not one of the more exciting androids from this series. Aw, oh, that's a shame. All right, so moving on along to Robotech. So this is kind of a weird blind box. What's the year on this one? This is 2014. And here's a look at some of the different figures that you can collect. And, you know, I've noticed with this set, when you first get these out, you have to put them together. And sometimes they don't want to stay together all that well. But for the... Oh, whoa! <laughs> There's a blooper. Our Play-Doh egg just went rolling off the table. So this is who we got. And as you can see, before I even open them up, his leg's already loose. So... Let me get our Play-Doh egg off the table. I'll get this put together and we'll see what he looks like. And here's a look at our Robotech UN Spacey is what it says on his arm right there. It's a pretty neat figure. It's definitely one of the more colorful figures in this set. And as you can see, his leg is just begging to fall back off. There it goes again. Oh man, you actually, you probably need glue if you're gonna buy these because it's like this with all of them. They all just kind of want to fall apart. Ah, there, you stay there. And since Mr. Play-Doh Egg here did not want to wait his turn, let's go ahead and open him up first before we do anything else. Uh, that, I've only had that happen a couple times where Play-Doh Egg went rolling off the table during, <laughs> during a shoot. All right, so we have a couple different things to open here. We have the Adventure Time Dog Tag, and we also have the Star Trek Creon Figure Pack. Let's go ahead and start with Adventure Time. And for this one... And it looks like we got the Ice King dog tag. I really like this one a lot. This one says number 17 on the back. And, you know, I like how the dog tag is not actually shaped like a dog tag, which is kind of strange because it says dog tags, and dog tags are generally, like, shaped like a kind of horizontal. But there you go. There's our dog tag. And then for our Creon figure... Let's see who we get. So we got a blue looking, bluish looking one, and I think it's Lieutenant Sprog. I kind of tore his head off right there. And there's what he's supposed to look like. But I'm gonna get them all put together so we can see what he looks like. And here is our Lieutenant Sprog. <laughs> That's such a, a funny name. That'd be a good name for a pet, like a pet cat named Sprog. All right, so next up we have the Kibbles and Labbits. And here's gonna be a look, if I can turn the box around enough times, here's a look at some of the different figures that you can collect. Now, all of these have odds. There is a mystery labbit, and I wanna say, I think I only have maybe two or three more of these left. I've opened most of the case, so chances are I'm gonna get one that I've already gotten. And I did, in fact, no, actually we did not get this one. I was getting ready to say, did we get this one the other day? No, we didn't, so this is, Somewhat sort of no. It looks like we got the pug, which is a four and forty, one of the more easier to collect labbit dogs. And there's a look at his little tail the back. <laughs> it's tug sticking out the front. All right. So next up we have the Toki Doki Hello Kitty. And you know this one actually doesn't show you. I mean they're in the picture, of course, on the box, but it doesn't actually show you all the figures lined up like a normal blind box does. And if I'm going a little fast, and I feel like I am, it's because, you know, we haven't gotten the most exciting figures yet. <laughs> so I'm trying to get to something neat. All right, here we go. So we got a boxing Hello Kitty hanger, and this one is pretty sweet. I like this one quite a bit. All right, so she's right there. And if you notice, she's got a little Band-Aid on her forehead. That is so cute. That is a really cool figure. That's the first really good figure that we've gotten in today's video. Now, I like the Robotech, even though his leg kept falling off, but this one was pretty cool. 
And if you're wondering why I'm showing this guy one more time, it's because as I was cleaning off the table, I found this little ray gun laying on the floor. I don't know how I saw it, but apparently he comes with this little gun and it fell on the floor and I never saw it. All right, so moving on along, we have the Yummy Donuts. And here's a look at the back. These are some of the different, I want to say figures, but they're not really figures, are they? They're plush little pillow-like things. Let's go ahead and open the bottom here. Does this have a year on it? Uh, don't sell. Oh, 2010. So these were made in 2010, many, many years ago. Close. We're closing in on a decade ago. And for this one, it looks like we got a strawberry and white icing sprinkled donut. <laughs> so these would be really cool for a Christmas tree. You could hang these on your Christmas tree at the end of the year. That would be a really cool thing to do with some of these hangers. All right, so next up, we have the Kid Robot Dunny Art of War. And here's a look at some of the different figures that you can collect. And I want to say we are still missing the mystery, the chaser in this one, who doesn't even have an odds on it. The one next to him is a 1 in 60. So that would be an incredibly tough figure to collect. And I'm thinking the one with the question marks is probably even harder. It's probably like a 1 in 120 or something. But let's see what we get for today. Wow, this is a new one. I have not gotten this one before. So... What is this? All right, we have this guy. He's a two and 20, and it looks like he comes with a little, a couple little weapons. His name is Samfout Capo, Capo, and I'll get his guns out so we can see what he looks like. Now, I really liked the Samurais from the Art of War series, but this one, I might end up, this might end up being my favorite one from the entire series. I really, really like the cult. The shade of purple and that expression on his face. He looks like some sort of cartoon character that's about to do something funny. I mean, he just looks hilarious. I love that Dunny. That's a really, really cool figure. So far, it's my favorite one from today. Next up, we have another kid robot. This is the Super Mini Blind Box. And this is from many, many years ago. Not to be confused with Mini. I said Manny. <laughs> Mini Manny. All right, so here is, wow, we got some sort of like Inspector Dunny. And he's got like a little magnifying glass. You know, it doesn't show you, it didn't even show you on the case, I don't think, if I remember correctly what kind of uh, figures that you can get. So look at this guy. This one is really, really cool. I think I might actually end up using him on my own keychain. I just, I really like this figure. And it's actually, that is a legitimate magnifying glass. It actually is not just a clear piece of plastic. You can see kind of uh, like a magnification with it. That is really, really cool. All right, so moving on along. We have one of my favorite Vinylmations. This is the Disney The Lion King Vinylmation. Here's a look at some of the different figures that you can collect. There's actually a, uh, a rare Pumbaa that was released in Japan um, that it was, it was like, it, was, it looks like it's covered in gold almost. It's really, really cool. In fact, I have it. I just don't know where it's at. It's around here somewhere. So, looks like we got the monkey. You know, it's been so long since I've watched The Lion King. I can't remember his name and it's driving me crazy. But there he is right there on the corner. Oh, I feel bad because Lion King is my favorite Disney movie and I don't remember his name. And I had to cheat. I had to look at the bottom. It's Rafiki. <laughs> Oh man, all right, so I got his staff in his hand, and here's a look at Rafiki. I like his tail, how they did his tail, and then there's a little blue baboon butt. That's a really cute figure. You know, I'm recording this at 9.30 in the morning, and I usually record most of my videos in the afternoon, so maybe it's just too early. Maybe my brain hasn't woken up yet, but here's a look at the Disney Vinylmation Nursery Rhymes. Here's a look at some of the different figures. The three little mice were probably my favorite favorite from this group. I do like the uh, the clock one as well. And oh, whoa, about, about dropped it. Came close to dropping it. Oh, wow. This is a new one. I haven't gotten this one before. And this one is Little Boy Blue. And I probably would have never guessed that. That's not really a nursery rhyme that I'm all that familiar with. But here's Little Boy Blue. And he's pretty cool looking. He's a very colorful, very, very blue color. He's like two shades of blue right here. It's a really nice looking figure. He's got a cow and a sheep and then a little sleep Z sign on his ear. 
and that is a really nice figure as well. I really like that one. So we've, you know, the video turned around. We had a few kind of not so extravagant figures at the beginning, and now we've gotten a few pretty cool ones. So here's a look at the Vinylmation Urban Number no. Three, and you know we got the dragon. I think it's a dragon right there in one of the last videos, and the the one right next to it, the little island one, is one of my favorite ones from this series. And I can't remember if we've gotten the chaser. You know, if you think about it, I've been doing these types of videos for probably five, I think five or six years now. So it's hard to remember everything. <laughs> it certainly is when, you, when you're opening 20 of these in every video. But here's a look at this guy. So it looks like we got the cookies one and the artist is Maria Clapsis. And I see her name a lot with the Vinylmation, so she must do a lot of different arts for the Vinylmation series. Now, next up, let's get this egg who patiently waited his turn, unlike our other egg that went rolling off the table. And inside of here, we have a couple surprise packs. We have the Street Fighter series, and we also have Teeny Freaks. So let's go ahead and start with the Street Fighter keychain. And if I can get it open, inside, Oh man, this one's actually being kind of difficult. Ah, let me just use the scissors. These trusty scissors have followed me many, many years now. Kind of cut the corner off there. So we got Chun-Li and Vega. I believe that's Vega. Yeah, it's Vega. <laughs> I had to make sure. But there is Chun-Li and Vega. And the back of these is just like silver. There's nothing special on the back. It's just got some text and whatnot. But these are, of course, keychains. Let me go ahead and take this thing out of here. There we go. Here is a better look at our new Street Fighter keychain. And for our other surprise pack, we have the Teeny Freaks. Now these are, I guess there's 12 different ones to collect and these have split sides. So there's a body on each side. And for this one, who do we got? We got a puzzle piece. You know, I don't. I've never understood why do they put one in a wrapper and one not in a wrapper. <laughs> so it looks like we got a really mean-looking guy with some skulls in his hands, and then a really happy like racer girl on the other side. And for this one, we got Frankenstein who seems to be missing an eyeball, and then on the other side we have a policeman with I think maybe an apple. <laughs> I don't know. It's a pink apple. <laughs> And then when this little piece right here, it looks like we got the man with a zoo cap and on the other side, maybe some sort of mountain. I don't think I'll ever get that picture put together, but there you go. There's our two teeny freaks. And we're down to our final blind box for the video. This is Mutt Pops Chow. Chow, however you want to say that. And here's a look at some of the different figures that you can collect. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. These aren't really sealed all that well. I mean. There wasn't really anything holding this in, but as you can see, you can't really quite see what kind of figure it is. Maybe I can. Maybe if I had to take a guess, I think we might have got this guy from looking at the inside of there. So let's see what we got in here. And was I right? Was I wrong? I can't tell yet. And we did. We got this guy who looks like he's from Samurai Jack. So here we have them out of the package and from, you know, reading this, there's actually like glow super rare figures in this series. You can, it, I never realized this before, but there's a hole in the side of the box. I guess you can kind of peek and see what number that you're going to get because he's number two and it said number two on the back. So I guess you can kind of cheat a little bit with this one. Now this piece right here actually doesn't go to him. It looks like maybe it would go to him like a tail or something, but it's actually to make this guy right here. So this is like the special mystery figure that you piece together by getting each one of the figures to make the one figure. But I hope you guys enjoyed our video for today. If you did, be sure and press the like button. It helps support the content here on the channel and it allows me to continue making more videos like this. This is Zero and as always, thank you guys for stopping by.